Have you ever wondered what those chatty chickadees are saying when they are making their various chirps? If you have, you are in luck, because plenty of research has gone into the vocalizations of chickadees. And researchers have even reported that these smart birds use one of the most sophisticated signaling systems discovered among animals. The most widespread and familiar is the black cap chickadee. Enjoy! The chickadee dee dee. It's the one chickadees make the most and is where they got their name. Males and females use it, which can be heard all throughout the year, especially in fall and winter. It's quite complex and is multifunctional. There are four main uses. To alert to the presence of predators, to keep in contact or locate one another, to communicate about a food source, and for coordinating group movement. When it comes to warning others of predators, all a chickadee has to do is increase the number of Ds at the end of the call. It is an incredibly loaded call for such a small songbird, one worth paying attention to. The seat. If you want to locate these darling birds, this is the one important call to take note of. Made year-round by both sexes, this sound is used almost constantly, and typically by undisturbed birds who are just casually going about their normal chickadee stuff. It is a very short call used mainly as a way to signal the caller's location to other members of the flock who are very nearby. It may also be used in encounters with individuals they don't know. Seat calls from wild birds seem to have an individual signature to them, and therefore can be used as a way for each chickadee to know who is who. The high C. If you hear this call, then you know a raptor is near, because chickadees use the high C when they see one quickly flying by in high pursuit or is in attack mode. It is a really high-pitched call that can vary depending on the type of predator detected and how dangerous the threat could be. When this call is given, which is mostly by males, all the other chickadees immediately stop everything that they are doing. They may remain still for two minutes or longer as they assess the area, scanning only with their eyes. Even other species of birds understand this call, as I've seen nuthatches dive for cover or freeze on spot after hearing it. The Phoebe song. It's mainly produced by male black hat chickadees and can be heard throughout the year, but more so in late winter and especially during spring. Often, the Phoebe song is referred to as the Hey Sweetie, which fits perfectly since one of the reasons males sing it is to charm a female. So yeah, hey sweetie! It turns out that this song is a rather complex one too used to signal aggression to other males, defend a territory, and attract and arouse females. Studies have shown that male chickadees can tell who is who just by listening to each other sing. Through these songs, they can also detect who is the more dominant male in the area. The gargle. This call is an aggressive vocalization that lasts just half a second in total. Like the chickadee D call, it is complex and varies a lot between different populations of black cap chickadees. There are several types of gargles produced by individual chickadees that help to form a repertoire. They are given by male birds and are associated with dominance establishment and territory defense. The gargle vocalization is easily heard from the middle of winter into spring and again in fall. The broken D. Probably my favorite chickadee call, the broken D, can only be heard during the breeding season and for a short period, like a week or two. 
And if you hear it, then you know you have yourself a female, since it is only females who make it. They begin using it once the nest cavity has been completed, and through early incubation. If the male is nearby, the calls are often accompanied by wing quivering, and usually elicit feeding by the male. Females use it almost constantly, except maybe when they are eating. This vocalization seems to be an important part of courtship, helping to keep the pair in close proximity and setting the stage for copulation. The Faint Phoebe This call is given by both males and females during the breeding season and usually near the nest. Often when the male arrives at the nest with food, he uses this faint Phoebe to let his mate know he is there. The female also uses it when inside the nest to alert her nestlings to feeding time. As babies near fledging, it is used again by the male as a way to encourage the young to leave the nest. The hiss. This call is only heard inside the nest or other enclosed small spaces, and is used typically by an incubating female when she is startled especially by an intruder trying to get inside. Force exhalation is given, often along with slapping wings against the nest cavity walls, resulting in both a vocal and mechanical sound. This is widespread among the parody family and has been given the name snake display. Chickadees do this in order to hopefully scare any intruders away. The squawk. Another call only heard in the nest is associated with parental provisioning by either sex. The purpose is to stimulate the nestlings to open their mouths for feeding. In the first couple of days after hatching, nestling black capped chickadees rarely gape for food voluntarily. The squawk, however, seems to be the most effective stimulus to elicit this gaping for food. As the babies grow, they respond to feeding more voluntarily, therefore reducing the need for their parents to continue using the squawk. The Bagging D Only heard during late spring and throughout summer, this call is made by the adorable fledglings to obtain food from their parents as well as to let their parents know where they are. Honestly, unless they are napping, there is rarely a moment when they aren't making this bagging call, and it's so adorable. By the time they are ready to be on their own, the bagging D turns to the typical chickadee call pattern adults make. That is a rundown of some of the more studied and well-known calls of the black cap chickadee. Now you have some idea of what your cute little chickadees are saying the next time you hear one of the calls I went over. I'm curious, which call of the black cap chickadee is your favorite? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy spring birding. If you'd like to support my channel, the very best way is by liking this video or sharing it with other fellow birders. One other way is by visiting my shop at leslythebirdner.com where you can get a little something back at the same time or a gift for a friend or loved one. Thank you for the support.